my honeys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing today happy tuesday thank you guys so much for all of the love and the support on my previous video it's really rare for me to like open up to like people i mean to my husband he hears me every single day <laughs> but it's really nice to know that a lot of you guys also feel the same way and i it's just so weird. I don't know why I always feel like I'm alone in this, but in all reality, like this truly opened up my eyes to realize that I'm just, I'm not alone in this. So I want to give you guys each a virtual hug. <laughs> I wish I can give you guys a hug in person. You guys are seriously so awesome. I just have to remember that I am here and I love what I do. And for the people that watch me, which is you guys, like that's all that should really matter. You know what I mean? I feel like that's what I have to constantly remind myself. Um, so with that said, you guys also wanted me to do another review um, or do another makeup look using the Morphe 35L Ultra Lavender Palette. It's seriously, you guys, so good. Um, if you guys haven't seen, if you're new to my channel, hi, you guys probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but. In my previous video that I just posted, I did a full-on review on this and just a chit-chat get ready with me. Um, but on Instagram, a lot of you guys DM'd me and messaged uh, or commented on the video saying you guys wanted another review on this palette. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to create something a little bit different um, than the look that I created in the previous video. So my eyes are already prepped and primed and ready to go. As per usual, ya me conocen. I went into my Urban Decay Eden Primer as per usual. <laughs> and of course, the Morphe palette. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in a little bit so we can go ahead and get started with the eyeshadow tutorial. So I feel weird when I have my hair up because I feel like this is like my sideburns. <laughs> so I'm going to go into the shade called Lo-Fi, you guys. This one right here. It's like a really nice lavender shade. I'm going to cover it up so you guys can see. Sorry, my lights are so bright and I have a white background so it doesn't help. Um, you guys can see right there. Um, for New Year's, you guys, I put little rhinestones in my inner corners and I thought, to myself, I was like, oh, nothing's gonna happen to me. I think I'll be fine. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I've been having allergic reactions to glue, not on my lash line, which is so odd, um, only on my skin. So I get like little bumps and it's so annoying because I love creating makeup looks, especially for Halloween with rhinestones. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? Okay, so we're just gonna bring it also right here. Oh my god, yesterday I went with my husband to go look at houses. Um, well, not go look at houses, but he is closing on a deal for one of his clients. He's a real estate agent, by the way. If you guys live in Arizona and you need a house, let my husband know. Um, and we went to go do the final walkthrough of the house. And oh my god, you guys, it's so beautiful. Again, I posted it on my Instagram stories. A lot of you guys thought it was my house. I'm like, girl, I wish, but one day. <laughs> one one day the backyard was ginormous i was like what the hell this is so huge um but i guess that guy owns seven taco bells i was like i want to own taco bell i love taco bell <laughs> all right i'm gonna go into virtual violet i don't know what it is with this color but i just love it so much i think it's such a pretty lavender shade and with that same brush you guys from morphe look at that oh, i was gonna place it like right next to it just so we can get a little bit of lavender, a hint of lavender. And we're gonna keep it just right here in the crease. Like we're not gonna go higher than that. And then right next to that one, I'm gonna go into Follow Me, this one right here. And we're gonna place it right next to this lavender shade that we placed. And we're gonna buff it out. And we're gonna blend, blend, blend. Bring it into the crease as well. And it's okay to bring it into that lavender shade that we placed. So that way there's no harsh lines and everything looks soft and blended. Ooh, so pretty. I also started going back to the gym, you guys. I just got back right now, actually. It's 7.30 in the morning because I have to go to work today. So I am filming this for you guys. So that way when I get home, I edit it and you guys will be able to see it. So sorry that this might go up later. You guys will see <laughs> when i was going during the summer i was going more consistent like i felt like it wasn't not that it was easier but i was getting so used to it that my body was getting used to it and these first couple of days i'm like help me <laughs> it's been a little tough i'm like oh my god like it's like you're learning to walk again 
And it's true what they, when they say that when you leave the gym, after a long time, you're trying to get back to it. It's so hard for the first couple of weeks. So I'm like, oh, I should have like never left it. You know what I mean? I should have kept going, but it's okay. The important thing is that I'm trying and I'm going back <laughs> again. <laughs> this blend that's why i really like this palette you guys is because it blends really really nicely overall i'm a huge fan of morphe um eyeshadows their quality is really really good you guys know how much i love my jaclyn hill volume 2 palette it is so good um and this one i've been really really liking it a lot okay so now i want to deepen up the outer corner just a little bit using the same brush i haven't switched the only thing that i'm doing is that i'm cleaning it on a napkin just to remove any extra product i also have like a brush remover thingy but i don't know where it's at <laughs> i have a mess in here okay so i'm gonna go into vivid uh very vivid this vivid shade this vivid shade this plum color right here just to deepen up the outer corner and we're just gonna place it right here and we're just gonna extend it just a little bit you guys not too much yes like that so pretty Ooh, you guys see how nice this blends? I'm still really sad. I actually started hearing more about why Morphe has been closing down. And this whole time, I didn't even know, it sounds so bad, but I didn't even know that Morphe had new owners. Linda Morphe and her brother sold the company, sold Morphe to, oh, I forgot what the company is called, who they sold it to, but I've been living under a rock. I've been so busy and I've just been really focused on myself and my career. Uh, that I haven't really paid attention too much on the beauty industry part of it, but I didn't know that they weren't the owners anymore, which makes sense because I feel like when they were the owners of Morphe, I feel like they were always collaborating with like influencers and creating really great makeup products. Not that they don't now, like this palette I, is really, really nice. I really like this one. I feel like they did a really good job with this one, but past products, I've they've been like, okay, you know what I mean? So I'm like, now I'm understanding a little bit more and them closing their stores, it's so sad. After I did that video for you guys where I reviewed it, <laughs> I kept seeing it pop up on my for you page on tiktok that was like the only thing that kept popping up on me i was like oh because they weren't giving the employees enough time to like find a new job like i would be stressed if i were them so i'm going back into follow me and i'm just gonna touch it up just a little bit more and i'm actually really sad that they closed their stores down because i loved going in there and grabbing my stuff instead of buying online and waiting for it to come like it's just nice to go into the store like we literally have a morphe here at the scottsdale mall um, which is like 20 minutes away from me so it's really nice to just go in there and get what i need you know instead of waiting online so i don't know i don't know with the changes that they're doing now i'm kind of like what are you guys doing i'm just gonna touch this up just a little bit you guys with that same lavender shade okay so i'm gonna create a wing now and i'm gonna go into switched off this dark lavender shade and i'm going to use it to create my eyeliner so i'm gonna go into my mac 266 brush you know and i also love mac brushes but they're so expensive like so expensive when i used to work for mac i had the discount uh, i mean you can still qualify for the discount to get I think some money off and it helps a lot but it's still pricey um, which sucks because i also really like mac brushes so i'm just gonna create a wing gonna go up see like this brush oh it's so good the mac 266 i don't even know if they even have this anymore this brush because i got it a long time ago like years ago i'm gonna get it really close to my lash line you guys i'm just gonna smoke it out just a little bit you guys using that same um switched off color i'm just gonna smoke it out so it looks nice and like smoky and not so harsh all right guys i'm gonna go and clean this up and i'm gonna just push it up there you go okay guys i'm gonna go into my lash curler i'm just gonna curl my lashes i really like this lash curler a lot actually it's from beauty creations um super super affordable too and i've been really liking it it curls my lashes really nicely for mascara, I'm going to go into my Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I've been really liking this mascara. Focus, homegirl. There we go. It matches my eyeshadow, so why not? And then for the lashes today, you guys, I'm just going to go into my brand 
she lashed lashes and the style she based it. All right, so for skin, you guys, I'm gonna go into, of course, my Milk Cosmetics Hydro Primer. This is seriously such an amazing, amazing primer. I'm just gonna apply it in my T cell and I'm going to work, which really sucks that I have to take all this off. <laughs> <laughs> after I'm done filming for you guys, but I wear a mask every single day and having a bunch of makeup would not be ideal. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna go into my Lancome, the Ultra Wear Foundation. It has seriously been my favorite lately. I'm just gonna use this Be Bella brush. It's the NG357. And like, look how pretty. It covers my redness so good. It's long lasting. So if you have oily skin, you're really going to like this. To cream contour, you guys, I'm gonna go into my um, cream bronzer from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Golden Tan. I use this in quite some time. Um, I actually used it, <laughs> I'm lying. I used it yesterday, but it forgot how good it is. I'm just gonna bronze up this side. Of course, I'm gonna go into my Huda Beauty. This is their full filter concealer in the shade No Got. No Get. No Got. Love this concealer, by the way. It is so good. I'm just gonna place it in the inners, outers. Do I need this much? Probably not. But I'm young right now. I can get away with it. <laughs> And I'm gonna go in. I am gonna go in. I'm gonna blend out my concealer, you guys, with a brush. The reason why I go in with the brush is because I feel like it blends it really nicely and it provides really great coverage. You can go in with the sponge if you like as well. I feel like also the sponge can soak up a lot of product, so that's why I like going in with a brush at times. Not all the time, but for the most part. I'm gonna go back into that brush, you guys, that we used to apply the cream bronzer and just blend out the harsh lines. Also, I almost forgot my nose. I'm gonna go into this brush. Okay, I'm gonna go into the Charlotte Tilbury. Of course, I've been obsessed with this powder so much. I used to use it a lot too in my freelance kit when I used to do clients, um, but I will use the shade um, 02 or medium two. I'm gonna go into this Morphe brush and I'm just going to go in here and grab some and then just set it set my under eye and I'm just going to set all the areas where we went in with the concealer. I'm going to go into my Tres Luce Tranquila eyeliner and I'm going to run it in my waterline. I'm going to go back into that lavender shade you guys and I'm going to bring it right in here and then pretty much you guys going back into the other shades that we did go in with earlier just run them towards the bottom lash line i don't even want to go to work to be honest <laughs> i just want to stay home and create content a bit all i'm poor help me <laughs> it's okay i'm not losing faith or hope that one day i'll be able to just stay home and create content for you guys and make a living off of it. God is good. He will provide whatever his plan that he has for my life. I trust it. I'm just here riding the wave. <laughs> Pero Diosito, please, I wanna stay home. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and just dust this off. For bronzer, of course, I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Palette, and I'm gonna take these two shades right here. I love a lot of bronzer, so don't mind me. I'm gonna go into my Morphe M580, going into the lightest shade, and I'm just gonna set my nose. Taking this shade, you guys, to highlight the bridge of my nose and apply it a little bit on my forehead. A little bit of glow. Oh yeah. For blush, I'm gonna go into the Dior. This is their 001 pink shade, obsessed with it. Forgot I even had it, to be honest. <laughs> Taking my Sigma F10 brush, I'm just going to pat it in. Oh, this blush is so good. It's so expensive, but <laughs> it's worth it, I promise, because it's so pretty. Oh, like, look at that light pink glow. So good. Do you guys remember when Makeup by um, Ariel made like a TikTok saying that people thought this was the blush he was using on Kylie and like it sold out for months? I remember I was trying to get this blush in because I, that's the blush I thought he was using on her because it looks so beautiful. And turns out he just mixes different types of blushes. <laughs> I'm like, well, joke's on us. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. 
I'm going to place them into the eyeshadow just a little bit. For my brows, you guys, I'm going to keep it super natural because obviously I'm going to wash this off. So I'm going to go in it to my favorite brow wax. This is from Lawless Cosmetics and it's a tinted brow wax. So I'm going to go into the shade Light Medium. And what I'm going to do is just pretty much run it into my eyebrows and we're going to brush the hairs up. So it's going to make it look more like fluffy of course if you don't have as much brows as i do feel free to fill them in with your brow pencil but like i'm not gonna go anywhere so i mean i'm going to work but i have to wash this off so i'm not gonna get too detailed with my brows either way i really wanted to do a fluffy eyebrow look because i did my brows the other day I, I do them myself so if you ever go in with something like this you're more than welcome to go in with a brow pencil and then just kind of fill in any sparse areas I'm using the Benefit precisely in my brow pencil. You guys know how much I love this stuff. And just pretty much fill in very lightly the areas where you don't have much hair. It kind of looks microbladed, you know? Have you guys ever gotten your brows microbladed? Let me know. I've been thinking about it, but then I don't want to. <laughs> and, but then I don't want to. It's scary, you know? Okay, so I know that I'm almost out of it, but it's my favorite. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cool Brown Lip Pencil. I know, it looks so tiny. I need a new one, but it's always sold out in stores. I think online too, because um, it's so good. It's literally like the perfect brown lip pencil. I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Empowered Liquid Lipstick because it's my favorite. <laughs> and I need to buy a new one. It's so good. Last step, you guys, is I'm going to go into the um, Charlotte Tilbury, the famous Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray that I've been seeing all over TikTok. I finally gave in and I went to go buy it. I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to spray it. I love this spray because it really leaves the skin looking fresh, especially with me that I go in with so many products. This really helps to help your makeup last a long time as well. Um, but at the same time, make it look nice and flawless <laughs> without it feeling super heavy. And all right, you guys, this is the final makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really wanted to go in and play with this palette again because you guys did request it. And I wasn't going to add my skin, you know, I was only going to leave it as an eyeshadow tutorial, but I'm glad I did it for you because I know how much you guys love to see me do my foundation and all that stuff. If you guys enjoyed this makeup look or if you felt inspired, please tag me on Instagram or TikTok. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you did like this makeup tutorial. Comment down below, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> that way you don't miss any of my videos every time that I do upload. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Besitos, los amo, cuídense, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Now I'm gonna go take all this off. Actually, first I gotta go take some selfies and then I gotta wash it off and go to work because it's already 8.30 and I start at 10. Oh yeah, I got 15 minutes. <laughs>